Hi guys, did you notice what I did there? When I gave you your warm up, I asked you, how are you feeling right now? If you go back and look carefully, you'll notice that right now is actually written in italics. That's on purpose. I wanted to make sure to bring your attention to the fact that when we're talking about feelings, they're temporary. They are, how are we feeling right now? They are, how does the situation impact me? All of these things are important to remember because no matter how intense a feeling feels, whether we're really angry or really joyful, feelings are just temporary indicators of what's going on around us. The great thing about that is if we don't like how we're feeling, there are actions we can take in order to change those feelings. We are really in control of how we choose to feel about something. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't things that automatically make us sad or automatically make us angry. It just means that when those things happen, we can choose whether or not we want to stay stuck there. We can choose to use strategies that will help us to make sure that we are using our, our feelings in a healthy way. So I want you to think about it. Hmm. How are you feeling right now? Can you think of a time when you felt differently? Can you think of a time when you were really, really angry? Can you think of a time when you were really joyful, excited, couldn't wait for what was going to come next? I'm sure most of us can think of times where we felt both angry and joyful. And those times changed. So I know that right now we're in a situation that's very different for many of us. Some of us might be feeling anxious. That's okay. Some of us might be feeling worried. That's okay. But it's important to remember that how we're feeling is only temporary and it's how are we feeling right now. Today we're going to talk about what we can do with those feelings. We're going to talk about the relationship between our feelings and our thoughts and our actions. I know some of you are thinking, hmm, we've touched on this before. Awesome. It'll be a review for you. But it's something that even me, even as an adult, I need a lot of practice on. So it's important that we take the time to go back and review and go, Am I really using my thoughts in the way that's going to be most helpful and most beneficial and most healthy for me right now? There's that word again. So I want to make sure I get to everything today. The important thing that you remember is that it's up to you to decide what you do with your feelings and how you use your positive self-talk to encourage yourself to really overcome negativity and to endure, and not just endure, but to thrive in any situation that you might encounter in life. So we're going to go ahead and get started.